Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful hover text to change image option using Elementor page builder. So here on the left, if we hover over on the text on the right, we see the images are changing. This is really a great effect. You can use it on different places the way you want. And I will also show you how to make it mobile responsive. So it would look really great on mobile device. All right. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor page builder. To take a new section, let's click on this red plus icon and here I'm taking this two column structure. Now first I'm making its height to minimum height and let's make its height to 100 VH. Let's now give it a background color from here. So I'm making its background color to hash F9 F9 F9. Then I want to add some spacing. So from under advanced tab, I'm adding 25 pixel of padding. Now the first thing I want to make their proportion to 4060 or something close to that. So here I'm dragging the column. Let's make the left one to nearer 40% and the right one to close to 60% like this. Now here inside this middle column, click on this plus icon and here I'm dragging a text editor widget. Now here I'm pasting some dummy text. So basically it's a paragraph text and here this message text, this is a heading three. All right, now let's add some spacing with it. So go under advanced tab. First let's unbind the margin and only at the bottom, I'm adding 10 pixel of margin. Also let's add 10 pixel of padding with it. But on the right side, okay, so let's first unbind it. On the right side, I'm adding 25 pixel and on the left, let's add 30 pixel of padding. Now I want to add some hover effect with this text editor. So to do it from under advanced tab, let's open the background and go to the hover tab. Here I'm setting the background type to classic and let's add the background color hash DFF5FF. Then from here, I'm adding transition duration to 0.5 second. Now when you hover over on it, you see there is a beautiful background color. Also, I want to add a border on the left side here. So to do it from here, open the border again, go under hover. Now let's make the border type to solid. First, I'm unlinking the width because I want to add the border only on the left side. So on the left side, I'm adding four pixel of border and let's make the border color to hash 002FA7. Now, if we hover over on it, we can see the border at the left, but right now it's not smooth. You see it's like something jumping here on the left. So to avoid it, we need to do here two things. First, I want to add some transition duration. So here I'm adding the transition duration to 0.5. And also you see this is the hover state on the normal state. We also need to add the border. So from here border type to solid border width unbind it only on the left side for pixel. But this time we need to make the color to very transparent color like this. Now if we hover over on it, you see it's performing very smoothly. All right. Now I just want to simply duplicate it couple more time. So let's duplicate this text editor. Also let's duplicate it one more time. Now let's change this text. Again, I'm pasting here some dummy text. I just want to make this video text to a uh, heading three. Now let's change its text. Let's paste the text and make the phone text to heading three. Perfect. So hover effects are also working perfectly. All right. Now inside this right column, click on this plus icon and here I'm dragging an image widget. So let's select the image. I'm selecting this image. Now click on insert media. Now the first thing I want to add some spacing all around this image. So for that I'm selecting this column go under its advanced tab. I'm adding here 10 pixel of padding but on the left I want to add more. So unbind it and on the left I'm adding 50 pixel of padding. All right now I want to add that cool hover effect. I mean whenever we will hover over on this message here will appear this image when we will hover over on this video here will appear another image when we will hover on this phone this text editor here another image will appear. So from now please be very careful because you need to apply exactly what I'm doing here. Now the very first thing let's first select this image go under its advanced tab. Now here I want to add some entrance animation. So from here select the motion effect. 
clips. From here in trends animation, I'm selecting fade in option and then open the advanced option and here I will be adding some class name. So first I'm adding the class name all dash image. Remember you need to write the class name exactly like this all dash image. Then here I'm putting a space because here I want to add another class name that would be image dash one. All right, now I just wanna simply duplicate this image couple more times. So let's just duplicate it and duplicate it one more time. So right now we have three images, one, two, and three. So here the first image, let's select it and from under advanced tab, we can see its class name is all image and then another class name that's image dash one. So let's now select the second image, go under its advanced tab for the second one, we will keep the same class name all image but the second class name here instead of image 1 I'm making it image 2 and for the third image this one go under its advanced tab keep the all image class name but here instead of image 1 I'm making it image 3. All right and also we can simply change the second and third image so select the second image go to content and from here I'm selecting this image for the second one and for the third one go to content let's select the image i'm selecting this image click on insert media all right now my goal is i will just keep one image at a time and other image will be hidden so to do it let's just select this main section click on these six dots from under its advanced tab let's now open the custom css field by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro i will put my elementor pro affiliate link in the description if you purchase elementor pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but i will get a little credit for that that will help me to continue this youtube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this now inside this CSS field you can just simply write down the CSS code or you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this page's link in the description. From that page if you scroll down a bit here you can see initial image show or hide CSS. From here just copy this CSS snippet, go inside Elementor and paste the CSS snippet here. So now you see you can only see the image one, the second and third image we cannot see that. Because here if we have a look inside the CSS snippet, you see we have set the all image that's the common class, I made their display to none and only the image one that's basically the first image I made its display to block. So here instead of image one if I put image two here we can see the image two, if I write here image three we can see only the image three here. But initially I want to put here image one, then when we hover over on the video, this text editor, the second image will appear on the right side. When we will hover over on this third text, the third image will appear on the right side. And we will be doing that dynamically by using some simple JavaScript snippet. So first of all, let's select this first text editor, click on its pencil icon. Now from under its advanced tab, let's scroll down and open the attributes option. So this is basically the custom attribute option. If you are familiar with HTML, then you know on HTML we usually add custom attributes like key, then equal, then the value name. But on the element the syntax is a bit different. Here first we need to put the key name, then a pipe icon, then the value. Again, we can just simply go to jimfahaddigital.com. From here, if you scroll down, you can see text data attribute. Simply just copy this snippet from here, go inside Elementor. Now inside these custom attributes, paste the snippet here. Now remember, we have selected this first text editor. That's why we have put here image one. So for now, let's just copy this attribute and select the second text editor, go under its advanced tab and open the attributes. Now paste the snippet here, but here instead of image one, I want to put here image two, because whenever we will hover over on this text editor, image two will appear on the right side. I hope you get the idea. Let's now select the third one, go under its advanced tab, open the attributes. Here paste the snippet and instead of image 1, I'm making it image 3. Now we need to do the very last thing that we need to just insert the JavaScript snippet. So first of all, let's click here on this Rubik's Cube icon and here I'm searching for HTML widget. This is the HTML widget. 
we can insert this HTML widget anywhere of this page because this HTML widget only be shown inside Elementor page builder but on the real website we cannot see the HTML code. So for now I can just put the HTML code inside here. Let's drag this HTML widget here. Now again we can go to jimfahaddigital.com and here under the dynamic images hide or show JS. Let's just copy the JavaScript snippet from here, go inside Elementor and inside the HTML snippet, I mean HTML editor, paste the JavaScript snippet here. And if you wonder, this is a very simple JavaScript snippet, let me just make the editor a bit big. So you can see when we will hover over on these text editors like these three, first it would make all the images that has the common name all image, all those images will be hidden and only the image that has the same custom attribute name with this text editor, the image will be shown on the right side. It's very easy and plain JavaScript code. Alright, so we are done with the JavaScript code embedding. But still, if we hover over on this text editor, we can see the images are not changing on the right side. And it should be because it won't work inside Elementor Page Builder. So for now, just click on this green update button to save your work and click on this eyeball icon to preview it on the real website. Now have a look, if we hover over on the second text editor, here on the right side we can see the image 2 and if we hover over on the third text editor we can see the image 3 on the right side. It's working now perfectly and the effects are really super smooth. Alright, it's looking great on desktop right now, but you know on the mobile device there is no hover option. So for the mobile device I wanna make its layout a bit differently. Okay, so let's first go inside Elementor Page Builder. Now first I wanna check its responsiveness. So from here click on this responsive mode icon. On the desktop it's already looking great. Now first let's have a look how it's looking on tablet device. So on tablet device it's looking great. But I think we can adjust its spacing a bit. So select the text editor, go under its advanced tab. From here I'm making its padding to 10 pixel. But only on the left side. So first unbind it, I'm adding 25 pixel. Let's do the same with this text editor. So select it from under advanced tab, add 10 pixel of padding and only on the left let's add 25 pixel. Same with the third one. Here I'm adding 10 pixel of padding. Oops, 10 pixel and on the left I'm adding 25 pixel. Otherwise everything is looking great on tablet device. Now let's go inside the mobile device here. So on mobile device if we keep it like this, it won't be a wise decision because if someone click on not click if someone hover on message they cannot see anything at the below because I'm not sure what's the height of that user's mobile device. So I wanna make the layout in a different way for mobile device. First of all I wanna make this whole column hidden on mobile device. So first select this column from under advanced tab open the responsive. I wanna only show it desktop and tablet but I wanna hide it on mobile device. Okay, now let's work with the text editor, select the first one. First of all, I wanna make all the margin to zero and all the padding to zero. Then I wanna also remove this left border from mobile device. So from here open the border, only on mobile device I'm making it zero, also on hover let's make it zero. So let's do the same with this one. First making the margin 0, padding 0, go to border, from here make the width 0, also on hover make the border width to 0. Same with the third text editor, make its padding and margin to 0, then their border, make the normal border width to 0 and hover border width to 0. Okay, now under this first text editor, from here click on this Rubik's Cube icon, I wanna put an image widget after it here. For the first one, I'm selecting the first image, this one, click on insert media. Okay, first do a bit of spacing stuff with it, go under advanced tab. Let's add 20 pixel padding at the bottom only. And I wanna also add some border, so from here border type to solid. And it would be only bottom border, so unbind it, only on bottom I'm adding one pixel of border. And let's make its color nearly white, because I wanna use it 
to make it as very light divider so right now if we minimize the bar here we can see it's a very light divider here at the bottom all right let's now open it now you know we only want to see this image on the mobile device but on the tablet and desktop this image won't be shown so select it and from here open the responsive i want to hide it on desktop also on the tablet now we can simply just duplicate this image and here i'm dragging this image underneath this video here and let's change this image let's select this image and again i'm duplicating this one and then i'm dragging this one under the phone text the third text here also let's change this image i'm selecting this one click on insert media so on the mobile device they are looking great right now and on the tablet device on the tablet device they are looking great but don't get confused with these images you see we have hidden these images on the tablet device that's why they are looking like this watermarked image these are showing only inside elementor page builder but on real tablet device these images won't be shown same for the desktop device you can see these images i have hidden those on the desktop on the real desktop these images won't be shown if you don't believe my word i'm showing you it in real so first to save it click on this green update button now click on this eyeball icon to preview it on real website right now you see there is no images in between this text on the left and the hover are working perfectly also if we see it on the mobile device on the real mobile device they will look like this so right now they are looking great on mobile device tablet device also on the desktop device I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this full tutorial. I will see you on the next video. For now, bye-bye.